Hey y'all, it is June 10th and it is 9.50 a.m. I am currently on my way to Cafe No Say um, to meet Faith and it is such an exciting week. I'm meeting so many new people here in Austin um, and I totally wish I started a week in my life vlog but I got home on Sunday from California and it was just a lot because I had to like unpack, get back into my routine and everything. I wanted to stay productive enough and not vlog. So I'm at Cafe No Say. Look how freaking cute it is back there. <laughs> Amazing. Decor is on point. I'm with Faith right now. Say hi. Oh, hey. <laughs> we got our food. It smells really good. It really does. It literally smells heavenly. I got a BLT. What'd you get? Oh my gosh. Biscuit. The biscuit. Huge biscuit. Yeah, that is huge. <laughs> We're going to be super full after this. And take some photos. Look how cute she is with her little skirt. Where'd you get it? H&M. Ooh. Alright guys, so we made our way over to Kendra Scott. <laughs> Again, I was here last night, but um, Faith has never been to the new one, right? Yeah. They have like the original flagship. Super close to here. Um, but this is like the newly renovated one and y'all know, I will link it down below, but I went here for an event the last time, not yesterday, but it was so cute and they have this little cafe um, and Faith got Oh, my lavender latte. So yum. So it's really good. It so good. Yeah, and they have like a neon sign, a little cafe, and obviously there's the shop right there. Um, and I actually got to see the fall collection early yesterday, so I had this anklet on. I don't know, you guys probably can't tell, but <laughs> it's really cute and kind of styled it like interesting. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're both wearing a dad shoes. Currently almost 3 p.m. and I'm home. I stopped at Starbucks because I had a little meetup, a little meeting kind of thing, whatever you want to call it, with um, someone that I'm going to be working with very soon for um, getting into the wedding industry. And I'm really, really freaking excited about this because he is kind of going to like take me under his wing and I'm going to be his second shooter for like some weddings, like four weddings or so. Um, and I am so excited because I've always kind of wanted to get into the wedding industry and just kind of see what it's like. It does seem a little bit stressful, but I have a feeling that once you get the hang of it, you'll just kind of like, it'll come to you as second nature. I feel like I just need practice. I need to try it out for my first wedding. I've never done it before. I only did one engagement shoot before and I definitely want to do more. Um, so if you guys know anyone in the Austin area slide my name into their email or chat or text or whatever um but right now i'm freaking thirsty i'm also really sleepy and i'm kind of proud of myself i didn't get anything at starbucks i really wanted an iced white mocha but i said you know what i've been spending way too much money and guess what i'm gonna be spending money tonight again because i got invited to an alum event for the austin um chapter i think it's at like a wine bar or something like that and i think there's like 28 katie alums that are going to be there so i'm excited um my friend megan invited me well i've never met her before but she's going to be my friend um and she was a katie alum so we all kind of connected through like the capital to national like connection page if that makes sense um so it's really cool like i'm i'm really thankful for katie like it's done so much for me and like it's always made me feel at home if that makes sense it's so cliche but like totally true like when i came to college it gave me friends when i came to austin it's gonna give me friends like it's freaking crazy and when people ask me like is greek life worth it i'm like dude yes like have you not been watching my videos like i don't know i'm very passionate about greek life so the answer is yes you should sign up for recruitment do it right now um, because it's gonna be worth it. I'm so sad because one of my blog posts that I was writing in California and I did a really good job writing it and like it took me so long just because I was being really thorough it didn't save and I'm like how did it not freaking save because I know WordPress is really good about saving things. Ugh, I was so mad when I found out. I'm gonna rewrite pretty much the whole blog post again. Um, it's gonna be about how I started my YouTube channel and how I started my blog and like literally all my frequently asked questions because I made an Instagram story and I didn't want to come off like too harsh or too mean but when I get the question like oh like do you have any advice I'm like yes of course I have advice but like 
I don't know what to say. Like, I don't know what to say first. I don't know what to say next. Like, you have to ask me specific questions if you want me to help you because there's just so much to say. It's very overwhelming. And I can't just sit there for, like, hours and hours just thinking of, like, what to tell you. Does that make sense? Like, I really don't want it to be, like, harsh or mean or anything. It just helps me and it helps you, too, if we get straight to the point. If you ask me those specific questions you may have, like, about literally anything. Like, don't beat around the bush because it's just, you know, it's beneficial for the both of us. So, anyways, I'm going to go write that blog because I also need to make business cards and... I have really exciting news that I'm going to be changing my Sonali Productions name to something really cool and something really just fun. So that'll be exciting. Um, I don't know when that's freaking going to happen because there's just so much to do. And it's crazy. Like, you guys probably think I'm crazy for saying that there's so much to do when I don't have a job. But, like, I have so much other stuff that I could be doing like I still need to finish oh I didn't tell you because I didn't vlog yesterday so basically um there's a course that I bought like a couple years ago worth like literally $300 or something like that it's called Pinfinite Growth so it's about Pinterest and how it can be a really good marketing tool for like literally anything so anyways I did that course a while back and I used one of the programs that I said to use but unfortunately that program got banned by Pinterest. So now I have to use the other program that they said to use. They they um, let you choose between two. And obviously I chose the cheaper one, like who wouldn't? So now I have to like retake the course, but like whatever. So I need to do that and I really wanna do that because I really do believe that Pinterest is a really great tool for you know, my blog, my pictures, my Instagrams, like literally anything for me to be found. And obviously on YouTube, like it's, it's a good thing to be found. Um, so I really wanna do that. Um, there's just so much on my like to-do list on my phone. It's actually insane. Anyways, I'm talking too much, getting more dehydrated. I'm gonna relax. I'm gonna have a bottle of water and then I'm going to write that blog post. It's gonna take so long. It's gonna take so long. Dreading it. All right, let's get to it. So I'm setting up my computer and everything. That's the one thing I hate about going to Starbucks is that I have so many like dongles and like things that I need. Like normal people they just have their computer and like a charger right but like I have like so many freaking dongles my hard drive all that stuff so I have to remember to bring it all and I don't know that's just why I'd rather work from home but in retrospect like obviously it'd be nicer to work in a coffee shop because it just makes you m more motivated and I don't get as sleepy doing it that way but also when I was writing my blog post like I'm one of those people that need to like be in silence to hear my own thoughts like I have never been the type of person that can work or like do homework in front of the tv or like music I cannot do music sometimes even if it's instrumental like I don't know I get like too distracted so I have to be in complete silence so maybe it's better that I came home and did this blog post um but I wanted to quickly show you guys a new product that I've been using this is the Laneige lip glowy balm so you guys know like their lip sleeping mask is super trendy right now but they just made this it's kind of like a thinner um consistency than the sleeping mask that's thicker which i kind of like that i honestly thought it was the same thing just in a tube but like this is more like lip glossy um but like still moisturizing i guess there's no color, it just smells like peach because I got the peach flavor, but there's a lot of flavors. I'll link it down below for you guys if you want to check it out. Um, and another thing that I forgot to mention is that um, hopefully this post will be up before this vlog, so I will link it down below. Please go read it because I'm going to be spending so much time on this post to make it perfect for you guys and to be really thorough and to be informative because I love to vlog and I love to share my memories and just like fun things in my life but I also really love to like help people out and just be really informative about what I do and like photography and like blogging and like literally anything because I feel like it's very interesting for people to know about so if you guys have a question that is not covered on this blog post please Instagram DM me at so underscore gnarly without the G and then I can add to this post I want this post to be updated as often as you guys ask me questions. So every time somebody asks me a question, I want to add it to this if it's not already covered. So please DM me any other um, questions if you don't see it on this post right now. Um, but hopefully I cover everything. Now my AC's on, it's so loud and it's annoying. 
if you guys know from my college dorm like my mini fridge was so freaking loud like I would tone it out like I wouldn't notice until I edited my videos and it was just that annoying humming sound in the background it was so it was so bad I'm gonna get back to work and I'm probably gonna get ready at like 5 30 because I'm already ready I just need to pick out an outfit and stuff be a little more classier not as edgy you know <laughs> I'm still writing my blog post over there, but sometimes I feel like when I lose like content that I've created, like it literally stabs me in the heart. Like that is a feeling that I don't wish upon my worst enemy, but there's always like a way to fix it. And next time this happens, the next time like, you know, my hard drive crashes, knock on freaking wood. But <laughs> next time anything like that happens, I really have to like remind myself that, you know, it's gonna be okay. You can like, redo it it's not the end of the world um it's hard it's hard to tell yourself that but you know sometimes there's like worse things happening in the world there goes my ic again it knows when i'm about to film and then it turns itself on it's amazing thank you ac right now i'm gonna do some dishes yay <laughs> um usually i'm not really lazy like if i eat something i will clean the plate i will clean the glass right then and there and like even when I'm cooking, I will literally clean while I cook. But last night I was like lazy, so I have to do my dishes now. So let's do them. And I forgot I have to like empty out the dishwasher. So should be a grand old time. It is currently five something, 5.50, I'm about to be six. Uh -huh. Nobody gets that. Nobody Everyone will. gets that. Shut up, go away. Hello. Anyways, like I just got ready. Um, basically, just changed my outfit, so I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. Um, <laughs> I'm re-wearing this dress quite a bit recently, just because it's, it's so... Cool outfit on earlier to change that okay, but I, I, I had my time with that outfit, but it's time for this dress. Um, I just feel like it's really flattering and I actually picked it up at Plato's Closet um, and it's a shift dress and I don't have to wear a real bra which is a win-win. Then I got my new sandals on that I got from Forever 21. They are so cute. They have like the little toe strap. And then on my ankle I'm actually wearing an anklet that I just got from Kendra Scott and it is so cute. I was actually taking pictures of it today and I oh I need to post that Instagram I was in the middle of posting the Instagram and then Ryan walked through the door and I got really excited so I had to stop what I was doing these earrings are from Amazon so I'll link them down below they're just chunky gold little hoops these glasses are from Zinni Optical seven dollars use my code mm -hmm. Ryan summer 18 19 amazing yeah. <laughs> I even told Ryan about the blog post that I was writing and how it got deleted and he was like, wait, no, that one? Because I like read it to him and like... Oh, is that what you did? Yeah. Well, I read it to you in California and he said I wrote it really good, so even he was sad that I lost all of my content, but it's fine because it's almost done. I just have to like link a few more stuff and I want to make it like more informative, like I said, so I'm trying to get more questions on Instagram. I just posted so... If you're watching this, hopefully your past self asked me questions, if, but if you don't, you can always DM me. Oh, what a sweet boy. You like sprayed dust all over this yesterday? Ryan, I did not do that. Basically like up here in these windows, there was so much dust. Like, I don't even, how, wait, how'd you see it? That chair when I hit my head. Oh yeah, yeah, he walked up on a chair and he saw up there, it was so dusty all along here, everyone was dusty. So we put in a work order for the guys to come clean it and this mirror ended up getting really, really dusty. Um, so I can only imagine what's on our floor right now, but I can vacuum later. We are gonna head to the event, well, I am gonna head to the event. Ryan is dropping me off. Ryan's getting Laura. Ryan's yeah. not. <laughs> Why? He's telling me he's getting Loro, which it's is a cheaper to place. Go by no, which is a place that we've been wanting to go to for a really long time. But Sophie's with me, as you can tell, of like the very hard breathing underneath me. That's Sophie. She's taking a little joy ride with us. I just got to Opa, um, and don't know how much I'll be vlogging inside, but I will let you guys know how it goes afterwards. I'm nervous. I feel like there's just gonna be so many people there, so. 
So we are here in Opa, and I'm with Megan. Hi. And she is, what college are you from? Michigan State. In chapter? Alpha Alpha. Okay. I'm at University of Central Florida, Epsilon Omicron. So this is so cool. This is my first alum event. And I'm guessing yours too. Probably. Yes. Yeah. We're excited. We're getting drinks. We just both moved here. Yeah. I just got out of the alumni event. So the meetup was pretty great. Um, I met everyone and, you know, I was like, P.S. I don't have a job, hit me up. Girls, you know, ladies, help us out. Like, if you know, you know. <laughs> Wait, it's this. Anyways, so I met everyone and it was great. I got sangria. I felt like it was gonna be a little bit longer. It wasn't that long, um, but anyways, for the chapter dues, I thought it was gonna be like 40 bucks per month or something like that. And apparently, new, newly grads get a $10 membership for the whole year. Wow. So I'm like, sign me up. <laughs> and then regularly, it's $40 per year, which isn't bad at all compared to like, what I used to, you know, <laughs> what my chapter dues were. <laughs> That's like, insane. But I think it's only monthly meetups and like, you know, not that much stuff goes on, but I'm so excited and I'm glad I'm gonna get involved sooner than later. So I think the one thing that was holding me back was the dues because I was just like, I don't really wanna pay like a monthly payment yet while I have all these new monthly payments. So yeah, for all you people out there, I mean, it could be different for every alumni chapter, alumni chapter, but now we know. We are now at Shake Shack with a very hangry boy. Wow, it's beautiful. All right, let's go eat. <laughs> wow, first Shake Shack experience. Look at this. I don't know about these fries though. He loves these kind of fries. I don't really, I don't know if I love these kind of fries, but we will try. Yeah, I need that too. That's my milkshake. I want it. I want it. Oh my god. Good, right? That is so good. That is Chick fil A so level, right? Good. Yeah. No. This is more like mixed in. That's like a chocolate with cookies and cream, I think. That's why it's probably so good. Mm. Forget all this. I'm gonna have this. This is good for me. 